Researchers released a new study on ways to make Hawaii's economy less dependent on tourism. Our Ali Dukalo, he discusses his findings, or its findings, I should say, and tells us the story of one business owner who believes the economy should focus on residents and not tourists. The report mentions how the wildfires led to a sudden sharp drop in visitors coming to Maui. And while that blow is specific to the island, researchers say it shows how vulnerable Hawaii's economy is because of its reliance on tourism. Maui Juice Company in Wailuku prides itself on being a business that caters to locals. Store owner Emery Wooten says the majority of their customers are residents and about a fifth of them are visitors. We opened two days after COVID went nationwide, so our company was built on the local community. The University of Hawaii Economic Research Organization report mentions the pandemic highlighted the risks the islands face because of tourism's dominance. That's why Wooten is grateful she based her company on serving the local community rather than depending solely on tourists. After the wildfires, uh, we didn't, nobody knew anything about what was going to be the future for businesses. Shortly after the fires, Wooten lent a helping hand, offering free packs of juice to fire survivors. We weren't the only ones that did that. A few um, companies, even in Wailuku, had pay it forward programs. While the goal was to pay it forward, Wooten realized the donation program paid off. She says she gained more consistent customers after that. So she's encouraging other business owners to prioritize locals through loyalty programs, discounts and other offerings. Not have to rely so much on tourism so that if we're ever faced with these situations again, guess what? You do have the local community there to support you. Meantime, a main takeaway from the Uhiro report was it identified several ocean-based industries as opportunities to diversify the economy, such as fishing, fish farming and hatcheries, as well as boat building. A link to the full report is on KITV.com. Ali Iduklo, Island News.